Well, a very, uh, well, the points wouldn't say uh, that it was a successful trip to Iowa City, but overall, uh, we had a very good showing. Um, end up with the meet, um, putting together some swims that uh, I would not have expected at this time of the year. Um, kind of a, the way the meet started um, in the first, first event, for the 200 medley relay, three of our first four relays got disqualified. So that was uh, um, one of those things where the team was so anxious, so nervous, that they, we, couldn't, we couldn't pull it in. And, and I, I, I take credit for that, or take blame for that, I should say, um, because I kind of put a lot of stock in that the girls really kind of were ready for this and really had an idea. But, but the thing I forgot is over half of our team are freshmen and sophomores. And, and going up against the quality opponents such as Michigan State and Iowa, I think might have been a little bit uh, a daunting task for them. And they were a little intimidated. Um, but after that first event, after we kind of got that out of the way, uh, things started to settle down with a fantastic performance in the 200 freestyle from Rachel, Rachel Siebenhaller, um, very close to, uh, well ahead of where she was a year ago at this time. Um, continue on to the 50 freestyle where Molly Limbazita continues to, to shine in her sprint events um, with only being only two tenths or less than two tenths off her school record uh, in the first time out, um, as well as when she swam the 100 freestyle, uh, finishing second. Um, with only less than five tenths a second off her school record. We just, you know, to do that uh, with the first time out, that's some of the things that just kind of uh, baffle me and, and really um, the, the team kind of rallied around and realized, okay, we can, we can settle down now. Um, we had great performances from Taylor Ostrowski in, in the butterfly events, along with her sister. Um, it's kind of neat to, to see the two kind of battle it out. And they were, Taylor was ahead in the tuner fly, Kelsey was ahead in the hunter fly. Um, Veronica Herman continued to shine in the breaststroke events. Um, again, all our breaststrokers were ahead of where we were, you know, at this time last year, and that. And so, everything is moving forward. Now, th probably the highlight of overall was our relays. Even though our relay did get disqualified, it's still um, less than a second off the school record what we would have at the conference last year um, already. And so, it really kind of shows that we're on the right path and we're doing the right things to, to get us ready. Uh, I just need to do a better job of getting them settled down a little bit uh, before, we, uh, before we get started. Uh, this week we had to, we have a meet on Thursday and Friday. Uh, we are at South Dakota on Thursday, uh, South Dakota State on Friday, and um, it's going to be a difficult trip. Uh, they're, neither place is very easy to swim at. Um, the environment um, at, at South Dakota is, is very unique. It's a short course meters pool, so it's a 25 meter pool, so times don't really matter to us when it comes to that, and that's what we'll focus on all week. It's not about, it's not about the times you go, it's going to be about the races that we put together and uh, getting into the wall hopefully uh, faster than, um, than they do. Uh, they have a very good diving crew, um, and, and, but I like our chances with our divers. We're very deep with our divers, and, and I, I couldn't go without saying uh, Sarah Kemp last week at, at Iowa finishes third on one meter, uh, Allie Bay finishing fifth, uh, and Sarah did it without any warm-up. She came in uh, late, she had a, a, an interview for some graduate work, uh, so she kind of got there right uh, eight minutes before the meet started, did a couple bounces on the board, and then she was right in the competition to be able to finish third. Uh, give her a lot of credit for that, and, and uh, the divers were, were exceptional this weekend, uh, and they hopefully continue that, because they're going to need it. They have the uh, uh, Summit League Diver, Diver of the Year for the last two years on South Dakota, and she will put up a pretty big fight, and, uh, but I know our girls can go in there and, and do very well. Um, as for the, for the swimming side, uh, we're just going to have to be be competitive and can't be afraid to race and and again in an environment where we won't even look at times we don't we won't even care what the times are until after the fact that we can go and back and convert them to to what we understand because uh yeah, short course meters there's just there's no correlation so uh and then we turn around the next day on friday uh, and have south dakota state both of these teams uh, on paper, we're pretty evenly matched, and, and I said that last year, and we went and were very successful when they came here. Now they're, uh, both teams will probably be looking for revenge and doing everything they can to, to knock us off after uh, our victories last year. Um, we just need to go in there with the confidence and the things necessary to be successful, uh, and I think we can do that. Any questions? All right, have a great day.